Eco-Living Paradigm Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 208. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 208, March 19th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed the final 75% of the mind map for the Caring and Kindness lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, as you can see here. Behind the scenes, we began the process of proofreading and editing all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed one lesson plan, bringing us to 2% completion. And we created seven new icons for the different alternative education philosophies we've researched to help make the highest good education program the most diverse education program we could. We also continued creation of renders for the ultimate classroom, adding items and updating textures for the purple room, as shown here. And we created this final render of the entire classroom. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued adding people and then researched learning tools and toys to create these third generation renders for the ultimate classroom. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created six new images and charts for the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page, which you can see here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team updated the AutoCAD file for the EarthBag Village Pod 1 to the new standardized format shown here. The core team also re-illustrated the Tropical Atrium Sun Study and Solar Heat Gain Diagram as shown here. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her sixth week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she researched cost and water savings for the vacuum toilets and developed version 2.0 of a roof catchment design using gutters as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his sixth week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was modeling the vermiculture structure and updating the septic piping and placement details. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 60 of Dean's work, developing this progression of 46 images for the room furniture and lighting for the east side living spaces, leading to this final render. Dean also started creating this alternative perspective looking south, exploring what a view from the loft might look like, and provided this quick video which shows testing the placement of the blanket. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 34th week helping with the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 design and render details. 
This week's focus was several first-generation renders in various common spaces and creating additional bench components for the outside renders, all shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 19th week of work, focusing on more updates to the landscaping in front of this village and an extensive update to the main entryway. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also finished with his help developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders and layouts. What you see here are the second generation perspective renders, and here are the fourth generation renders for the complete village. The arts and crafts structure, game room, kitchen, library, playroom, residential structures, and shower structures, all of which have also been added to the Treehouse Village open source portal. Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed another round of development of our new search engines. This week's development was the new separated version of the Highest Good Energy search engine. And Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. Here are the two pages he finished updating this week. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on 3D placement and added more updates to the structural supports for the city center cupola. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 31st week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing our light placement and light dispersion testing for the first floor bedrooms and bathrooms of the city center living dome, then adding the bedroom lighting details into AutoCAD. Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 12th week of work on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was finishing continued work on updating the elevations and integration of the new geometry into the basement designs. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her eighth week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was the wall design tutorial details you can see here. The one community approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a Highest Good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. One of the foundational things that one community is focused on creating is eco paradigm creation. Our idea is to create a new ecological paradigm. And our way of doing that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. These foundations of sustainability are an evolution of sustainability that take the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combine them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to create a new eco-living paradigm through a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And open sourcing and free sharing the complete model as a teacher demonstration community village city or hub to be built anywhere in the world. One community being the first hub and purpose to invite tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit, experience everything that one community is designing and that we'll, we will demonstrate. And if people like what they see, if people like what they experience, to provide everything that's necessary for them to be able to go out and replicate that on their own somewhere else in the world building a global cooperation, a global cooperation collaborative of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together, expanding the open source foundations that we're starting with to create a complete suite of eco living paradigm, sustainability tools, tutorials, resources, instructions, and launch points for additional projects. And our goal is if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrates attractive enough, then we know that the idea will spread on its own, just as all other models that are easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough do. Models, products, you name it, these kinds of things. If something is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And so this is what we want. 
We want virally reproductive, replicating, eco-living paradigm creation models all over the world, working together to create additional solution creating models. We say a solution model to create additional solution creating models. The idea of a self-replicating teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub built to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. This is what one community is doing. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if you too carry the consciousness for the highest good of all, you believe that we can create a world, a new paradigm, an eco-living paradigm creation founded on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, if you carry that consciousness too, join us. Get involved in what it is that we're doing. There's lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members, which are the members of the team that will move to the property and actually build everything as one community and be the people living there and hosting others, visiting, experiencing what it is that we're doing, constantly evolving and creating it as that teacher demonstration hub and network, or just join us as a consultant. We've got lots of people working behind the scenes, sharing their expertise, their knowledge, helping volunteering behind the scenes. We're a 100% volunteer organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're doing this because we believe that an eco-living paradigm can change the world and for the first time in the history of humanity, create a world that truly works for everybody. The time has come, the technology exists, the knowledge exists, the access to that knowledge exists. It just needs to be refined and made easy enough, affordable enough, to upstairs attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And so this is our invitation for you to join us. Of course, if you like the easiest way, the absolute easiest way to help one community, share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it so that whatever network you use, the information is there, accessible, easy to share. Help us get the word out. Of course, people ask, well, what's the largest thing that one community needs? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding. You know, we're an all-volunteer organization. It still costs a considerable amount to run one community, even though we're all volunteer, the web expenses and other expenses associated with developing our global website. But we're still seeking that large-scale funding to be able to get the property off the market that we've been working with now for almost seven years to help us secure that, to get it under the ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization so that we can get people on the, on the ground, start doing site surveys so we can disclose that location and build our team that much faster so that we can develop, continue to develop the open source components that are only possible once we are 100% sure we're gonna be building in that location, which is a location that we spent two and a half years researching. It's still available, waiting for us, and we are waiting for that one individual or a small group that is ready to either invest one in one community as a 51c3 nonprofit organization or, to, or rather donate to one community as a 51c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community to help us get that property off the market so that we can share those details. That's the biggest thing that would help us. In the meantime, our focus is eco living paradigm creation through all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do yourself instructions that we're working on right now. They're necessary for us to build and they're necessary for anybody else to build. And so it's easy for us to walk our talk, to focus on what is most important, continue to focus on that while we're waiting for large scale funding that's necessary for us to actually start building. This is how one community is changing the world. You're invited to participate. And you're invited to participate in whatever way works best for you. Visit our open source site. If you like more details, more specifics, uh, everything about all of our open source content that we're creating, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email, Every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, thanks for watching till the end. Thank you for the small donations that we get, $5, $10, $50 donations. They really make a big difference. They help cover our operating expenses since we are an all-volunteer, unpaid organization. Every dollar that we get goes towards our open source goals and helping keeping one community running and functioning efficiently and effectively. And uh, I think that's it. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a great day.